on this video, I want to tell you about a brand new feature I'm bringing to this channel. And what's most important is it's only going to take a couple of minutes of your time. It'll be available every week and it's going to give you valuable information that you can use to take action on and improve your car count immediately. Tell you about it right after this. Hey, you wonderful car count hackers. Thank you so much for stopping by and having a look at the car count hackers. We're a community of like-minded auto repair shop owners who just want to take the stress out of fixing their car count, getting more customers, and finally earning the money that they know they deserve. While you're here, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell icon so you're the first to be notified every time I release new content. And be sure to stick around to the end of this because I've got two or three pro hacker tips that you're really going to want to know about. But the big reason I've got you here is because of a new feature on this channel, and I call it Two Minute Tuesdays. It's bite-sized pieces of information that are tips, tricks, or hacks that you can take action on immediately, start using them to improve your marketing, get more customers, and finally fix your car count. So with all that said, let's put two minutes on the clock right now and see if we can't get through this. One of the things that I see all the time missing from auto repair shop marketing is your picture. Your picture is probably one of the most important key elements of marketing your repair shop, especially when we're talking to a cold list or people that don't already know you. Why is that? Well, first of all, understand this. People don't do business with companies. People do business with other people. What that picture look like? Well, for the lack of a better term, it should be a simple headshot. It should be something typically from mid chest and up or possibly waist and up. Something where you're smiling as though you were open the door to your home and were, saw your best friend standing on your doorstep. You want to be welcoming your customers into your repair shop. Where would you use this picture? Well, you would use it everywhere. Start with it on your business card, on your offers card, on your customer referral card, even on the envelopes that you send out, whether you're sending a check or you're sending a letter to a customer, your picture should be everywhere. And most importantly, your picture should be on your website. Like really, why are you hiding behind your website? Don't you want to encourage people to pick up the phone and call you to book an appointment? And I'm so tired of seeing stock images over all these different, you know, everyone must have the same employee and the same customer because they all appear on hundreds of websites because they're using stock images. Creating a picture is simple. You could use something as simple as your iPhone. You could use a point and shoot. You could use a DSLR. There's a hundred ways to get pictures. Don't make your picture look like a mugshot or something that might appear on your passport. Be that smiling, welcoming face the same way you would look if you just opened your front door and your best friend was standing there looking at you. Now, I said at the beginning of this, I'd have a couple of pro tips for you at the end. And here's a couple of, well, let's call them pro hacks right now, okay? Number one, don't take one picture and just run with that. Typically, you would take three, four, or five pictures. Now, look. You may not know this, but I'm sort of a, a photographer. I shoot a lot of classic cars and hood ornaments. And the one thing that I've learned over the thousands and thousands of images that I've taken is that if I take one image, that's it. That's the best I've got. But if I take four or five, of that group of four or five, there's going to be one that I like best. Second pro hack don't necessarily take those snapshots that look like you posed for your license or for a, a passport photo. Take pictures that are candid pictures. Whether you're talking on the phone to a customer or you're talking to one of your techs, if you're the tech that's actually working on the car, do that. Third pro hack, there's countless photographers that are looking to make it in the photography world. And you probably know three or four local in your market. They'll come into your shop, spend a morning with you, and grab you 10, 15, maybe 20 different candid shots. You on a phone, you talking to your text, you doing work on a car, whatever it is. Those candid shots come go a long way with telling a story about your repair shop. There's the three pro hacks. And don't forget, 
use your picture. While you're here, I urge you to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you get notified of any additional uploads. And before you leave, head over to carcounthackers.com, grab my latest download, which is the Auto Shop Owner's Ultimate Marketing Guide, Checklist, and Cheat Sheet. Everything you really need to know about marketing your auto repair shop. Until then, Leave me comments. Do you like this Two Minute Tuesday? Is it enough bite-sized information to help you? And please, don't hesitate to ask me any questions. I'm always here checking. I promise I will respond to you. Until next time, thank you very much for taking a minute out of your day to watch this video. Did we do it under two minutes? Okay, great. Talk to you real soon. Take care.